All right, so it's official. The Fed is cutting rates, right? Well, I guess they announced that they're, they cut rates by 50 basis points in the U.S. Now, they have been cutting rates in Canada for a few months now. And I've always said that Canada is the testing ground. And the truth be told, it is the testing ground, right? So, anyways, they're cutting rates. And what does this mean? Well, essentially, what it means is that inflation is basically going to skyrocket sooner or later at some point. I mean, we haven't even felt inflation, right, um, in the way that should be felt in many years. Because a lot of the Western countries have been printing a huge amount of currency in order to save the U.S. from the financial crisis in 2008. And it's been 15 years. People forget about it. You know, younger people are born and raised. And, you know, those younger, even younger people, they were like kids when it was in 2008, right? So basically, most of them are just around their 20s and 30s now. And, you know, they didn't experience much of it, right? They, they didn't know, hey, this is the world. Houses are a million dollars. And this is how it works, right? I mean, before I was alive, when my parents' time, you know, the houses were like $50,000. But by the time I was an adult, they were $800,000, right? And then by high, a higher amount, right, maybe like 10 years later, they're a million dollars. So, you know, this is going to make inflation skyrocket even higher around the world, especially in Canada. The reason is I think the Canadian dollar is not going to do well and they're going to help the U.S., right, when the U.S. has problems. And you got to remember this. Whenever they cut rates, right, I mean, when they cut rates, it usually means that there's a problem. That's what it means, right? I mean, you know, that's the reason why they cut rates, because they feel there is a problem. And essentially, right, it's right before the election, too. So I don't know if they were trying to help them or whatnot, but they keep saying, hey, it has nothing to do with the election. But come on, people from 10 years ago could tell you, hey, they cut rates during the uh, election to help the election or whatnot. And then 10 years later, hey, they're doing the exact same thing. Right. I know that there is a lot of problems right now economically since they started raising rates. And the only people that don't know there is problems are the people with, one, government jobs, two, high corporation jobs, right? If you're a small business owner, if you're like, uh, you know, those type of small businesses and me, me, even medium-sized businesses, you know that it's stressful out there, right? Uh, because the rate hiking has caused a lot of people to stop spending, especially in the advertising industry, like, you know, you don't see much advertising, even in video games. You see in video games, right? When they, they don't even make physical copies anymore. And the price of the video game is the exact same <laughs> as the digital copy. is the exact same as the physical copy, which you get a disc. You used to get a manual, and then you used to get a box, and then you get a, a printed, you know, cover, right? Which is all collectible, right? They, they become antiques. They became, like, you know, collectible items, right? And, or heritage item, as they call it. And you don't even get that anymore. Now, if you have a digital copy of a game, you're not coming back. right? Well, you can't sell it. It's not a collector's item. It's nothing. It's just something in the air. right? And you either have access to it or when you know your internet goes down, you don't have access to it. So, you know, they're charging the same price, which is astronomical already. And they're actually increasing the price. They're not decreasing the price. So they get the benefit of not selling a physical thing uh, that comes with costs, right? And somehow they increase the price. But anyway, talking about going back to the, the central banks cutting the interest rate, right? So that means that we are in a recession, right? They always cut in a recession. The only difference now, right, is that they aren't, like the media is not honest. The media isn't telling you we're in a recession. No, they're telling you we got the greatest economy ever. And, you know, right? 
they're just not honest as before. At least before they tell you we're in recession, we have a problem. Now they're telling you we don't have a recession, we don't have a problem. Everything is fine. And you just need to close your eyes. But anyways, going back to what I was saying, right? If you have been working in a corporation, a big corporation, you've been really lucky. You be, you know, that because I think the government didn't allow them to cut jobs, right? Or just like pretty much like you know how well when Bell cut jobs, right? They they were brought in for questioning, right? So that scared a lot of people. So they didn't cut the jobs. So that's why um, we're in a slow recession or a stagflation, sort of speaking. But at one point, they're gonna be like, oh, forget this. They're gonna start cutting jobs, right? But you know, they decrease the interest rate, which means that they're trying to accelerate the economy, and. The reason why they want to accelerate the economy is because it's slowing down and problems are starting to form. And, you know, you see a lot of small businesses just shutting down, just saying, yeah, we're done. I'm not doing this anymore. They keep increasing taxes and everything. It's pretty crazy in the West right now. And this rate cutting just says we're screwed. Right. Once they start rate cutting, they're going to start stimulus and then. Because last time in 2008, when they started doing all this, right, the rate cut, the stimulus and everything, right, it nothing happened. There wasn't any inflation. They're like, oh, everything is good because they sent it to China. You guys could remember what I mean by sent it to China. You see, when I want to buy, like, I have a PSP, if you understand what a PSP is. Like, okay, let's just say a gaming system, right? I used to sell parts in university, right? So what happened was I took the, the electronic apart. Let's just say a digital camera or anything or a cell phone or something, right? You take it apart and then you fix it and then you, you, you sell it, right? And you need parts. So the parts in China were like $2, $3, $4, right? The maximum that they would sell it to you is for like $10, right? Nowadays, it's different. If you have like if you need a part and if you want to buy a used one, it's like $50 in the U.S. or in Canada. And then if you want to buy it from China, it's $40. So this is where the inflation went, right? Because now, right, they, they, they're they just like, you know, your, your dollar isn't worth that much. So they need to increase their price. And basically, they can't do that anymore, right? They can't do that anymore because it's done. They, that, that path is done, done, right? They can't do it anymore. So we are going to feel the amount of inflation when they start doing stimulus and everything. But this is the beginning of it all. You see, they're rate cutting, right? It, it was a, It's not that big of a deal, right? It's just 50 basis point, right? I, I don't even know what we were at. I mean, maybe we we're like, like, I don't know. I they pro, I think it was like 4.8 from the last article I was looking at. I wasn't paying attention. All right, so this guy... I think this is Canada, right? No, it's not Canada. It is Canada. But, yeah, I, I don't know what the rate is. I think it was like four point something. Okay, so it's 4.75%. Oh, no, wait. But anyways, I, I don't really care. But, you know, this is just the beginning. Because at one point... Right? Uh, they're going to cut it to zero again, <laughs> or at least close to zero. Um, oh, I got a phone call. Anyways, I, I need to do something really quick, so I'm going to finish off this video. But anyways, at, at one point, they're going to cut it down close to zero, right? And that's going to be really, really bad. And that's when we're going to feel it all, right? So it's down at, I guess, what is this, September 18th today? Yeah. So it, it's down to 5%. But at one point, it's going to go back pretty much like maybe to 2% or something like that. It might not go down to zero. I don't know. And then they're going to bump a bunch of stimulus and everything. They might change it around, right? But, you know, they might change this around and then they, they might go down to 2.5 and then like instead of doing interest rate cut they're gonna do like uh they're gonna do stimulus and then they're gonna change add a different name to it right it's still stimulus but it's a different name and then you know this might be a few years down the road and then after they're if it doesn't work they'll probably cut it to here 
but eventually inflation is going to run wild, right? And then <laughs> they're going to have to hike interest rate again because, you know, your, your bread is like 50 bucks. So, you know, there is the big problem. And obviously, clearly, like, look, look at this. This is when they were hiking rates, right? And then went boom, 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 3%. You know, what What was I saying? 3%, you know, 2%. And then once we get down to like 2008 fully in the midst of everything and the whole huge thing, right? And then it, it stayed at zero. So anyways, prepare yourself. And I always say that I love gold and silver, right? Especially the stuff that, um, I don't know. I just like gold and silver, precious metal, because I think they are really good investments, of course. Some of the telecommunication companies and bank companies might be good too in the future when the stocks drop. If it drops, I don't know if there's a huge crash. I don't know if there's going to be a huge crash, but something's going to happen. But, you know, prices are going up. That's why I'm spending my money to buy collectibles and among other things that, you know, could retain its value over time, obviously. That's why you see me opening like PS1, PS2 games. You know, yeah, it might be not worth anything to you, but somebody in this world has money and somebody are, is a collector, right? And, you know, collectors are usually the people with money and they're willing to pay for stuff like that. But anyways, that's all I wanted to make a video about. And 